What you see here is the Gothic Arena. This is a 93-piece set that I did around uh, 2004. This is the first and only set that I had made, and I had made it so that I could write the article for the website, uh, the building instructions for it. Uh, I finished it, painted it, and then I had packed it up in a box and it's been in storage for probably about 15 years. I used the same molds on this as I used for the uh, Gothic chess set. So this uses all of the Gothic molds, uh, 40 through 45, plus mold number uh, uh, 265 for the, uh, for the one and a half inch floor tiles. This is completely made out of dental stone. So you won't be able to take this and just kind of dump the pieces in a box. Uh, uh, little tips like this would probably break off on you if you tried to do that. So you would have to kind of set them in a box and then take them out of the box. You won't be able to just handle them like you would if you were handling resin. The squares in this arena are one and a half inch squares. And I'd mounted each of these sections on half inch thick insulating foam. So this is kind of the, the, pink, uh, the pink Owens Corning uh, insulating foam that these are on before they're painted. Now I have designed these walls to fit within inch and a half squares. In other words, this corner piece here is meant to fill three squares. Like these three squares right here, you place it so the walls are in the center and it will fill those squares. Uh, the T piece that I have here will fill four squares. So if I put it right here, I'm basically filling one, two, three, four squares. And you have a little bit of room left over. And I mainly designed this, let's move this back here. I mainly designed this for a uh, uh, mage knight. Uh, this is, you know, back in 2004. Here's a Mage Knight figure. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. I, I think they do. Uh, but they have one and a half inch round uh, bases on them. Uh, so you can kind of clearly see uh, the squares that you move around here. I think there's also a, a Monster Mash game somebody came up with. But here in this particular case, if I want to fill these three squares here, I can put a corner piece like that and it will fill it up and you can kind of make your own maze on top of the inch and a half squares using that. Uh, if you want to, of course, these are 28 millimeter figures, meaning they're 28 millimeters from their feet to their eyeballs in general, depending on the size of the monster. This is in comparison with a Warhammer, uh, Warhammer fantasy figure. So you can kind of see how he relates to the particular size here. And here's a wall section that fills three squares. So I put it along here and you can kind of get the idea of, uh, you know, people, people uh, being able to see through and maybe casting spells, you know, through the gates here if they want to. Uh, I also have, if you have a door, uh, the doorway goes here. And I also have uh, six doors in this set. So you could, if you wanted to, you know, simply put this uh, door in the doorway to close it off like that. These doors are also an inch and a half wide. So if I took a regular wall section, let's say something like this, uh, you can just simply stick a door between here and, you know, kind of make it go like that. So there's the door right there for you. Uh, this uh, tablecloth that you see under here is one inch squares. Uh, so it's a one inch grid. It was actually made by a company called Smirking Dragon. And I think they're still around. I think they still sell it, but you could use these for one inch squares if you want. It's not a perfect fit though. Uh, just so you know, like this particular uh, uh, corner piece right here, I don't know if you can see, but it, it actually lines up on the grid right here, but not all pieces are gonna do that perfectly. These sections that are, are like two regular squares are actually gonna be three squares on one inch grid. So you can kind of basically use them for that. Now I do have some individual ones that are meant to fill one and a half inch squares. Well, that's gonna be a little bit funny because it only fills like, you know, one and a half squares. But you know, nothing says you can't just take two of these and glue them together. And so you've got, you know, a three inch wall section that'll fill like that. Okay, let me give you a quick overview of what's in the set here. Basically, you have 13 different floor tiles. These floor tiles are six inches by six inches. Uh, you also have the uh, main crypt that I'm gonna show you here. Uh, as far as T sections, you have eight different T sections, uh, four of each style. You have one little uh, of the fountains here. Uh, as far as corner pieces, there are 12 total corner pieces. There are six different styles, so you get two of each on that. As far as the wall 
sections that will fill three squares. Uh, you have a total of 12 of those wall sections, and there are six different styles on that, two of each style. The uh, wall sections are the same here for the two inch ones that fill up uh, two squares. There are 12 of those, and you get uh, six different styles, two of each style. Uh, little wall sections that will fill up one square, there are 12 of those as well. Uh, six different styles, two of each style. And then we have a total of 16 pillars here. There are actually seven different styles, but you get four of these uh, kind of roundy pillars here. So that's what kind of throws the number off a little bit. And then we have uh, six of the doors that you see right here. What I want to do now is show you the pieces in the set and how they compare to the scale of a miniature. Uh, there's only one of these. Uh, this is the size of a 28 millimeter Warhammer figure. Uh, and this is kind of what it looks like. I don't know what you'd call it, an entryway or a crypt. Uh, it's pretty much symmetrical on both sides, but you get one of those in the set. You also get uh, one of these, uh, I'm not sure what you'd call it, a fountain, uh, but it fills up uh, you know, four one and a half inch squares completely. So it'll fill a three by three area pretty close. Now, as far as one and a half inch wall sections, one that'll fill one complete square, Basically, you get one of these, you'll get one of these, uh, one of these, uh, one of these guys right here, and you get one each of these. So uh, that's what those individual uh, uh, squares look like. And moving on to the uh, wall sections that are uh, uh, fill up two squares, basically we have, uh, we've got one that looks, uh, one that looks like that. And here, I'll just move that miniature to the side. So uh, that's what it looks like front and back. We have one here. Uh, that's what it looks like front and back. It's the same. This one right here uh, looks like uh, the same front and back. This one right here is pretty much the same uh, front and back. You know, all of these will fill two squares. Uh, this one right here is the same also front and back. And then we have a final one, which is this one that's got the uh, torch in the middle of it. And the torches are all painted on this particular set. So that's uh, the wall sections that fill two squares. We also have wall sections uh, that fill three squares. And here's uh, this particular one right here. Uh, it will fill three squares and it looks the same front and back. We also have a doorway here. Uh, it's uh, the same front and back. And by the way, all of these, there are two copies of each of these that you're seeing right here. Uh, there's a doorway here, uh, columns on the front, no columns on the back on this particular doorway. Uh, this one's the same front and back. It's got the uh, double gates on it, uh, two of those as well. This one right here is a wall section. It's got a little window with a, a crypt in it, torches on one side, uh, pillars on the other side there. And we also have another wall section here. This is the same front and back and it does it, uh, it looks like that and fills three squares as well. We also have a few pillars. Uh, this particular pillar right here, round pillar, you have four of those on the set. And I've got several pillars, like we've got two of these and we have two of these and two of these and we also have two of these. And you might think, well, these are kind of funky looking pillars. Why in the world are they shaped like that? Well, the, the simple answer is they're made so that you can use them as a four way to connect your walls like this. And you can also put a wall section that comes out and connects on the front like here. So it will fill a corner nicely when you join the walls in the center like that. So those are those pillars that are right there. There's also a couple more decorative pillars. Let me get those up here for you. Uh, there's one of, there's uh, two of these particular pillars right here. That's what it kind of looks like. And there are two of these particular pillars here. And once again, here's the, uh, the figure so you can kind of compare scale to how big the pillar is. So they can completely be hide behind uh, any of these pillars and not be seen, uh, not be seen in the dungeon. Okay, we also have some uh, T pieces. Uh, Here's one of the T pieces right here. Oops, let's move him out of the way. Uh, this is what one of the T pieces look like. Uh, fairly simple on that one. Uh, another T piece that we have is this one and it's got a couple of nice uh, roofs and uh, crypt on it. Uh, that's what that particular T piece looks like. Once again, what these do is they fill up uh, three squares uh, like that. We also have one that looks like this. This one is a particular T. Uh, it looks looks somewhat like that. We have a more basic T here. Uh, looks like that. We've got four different uh, styles of T's on here. As far as corners, there's six different corners. We have one corner right here. 
uh, that's got a pillar standing up on it. There are two of these in the set. Uh, this corner right here, uh, front and back. Uh, there are two of these in the set as well. There's also another spiky corner right here. Uh, there are two of these in the set. And you notice these back corners come out like this. Once again, it's so that if you fill a corner like that and you wanna add a wall section, you can just simply add it onto it and work off the back of a corner as well, which is, which is pretty nice. Uh, and let me show you another corner. Uh, here's another corner right here. This is what the corner looks like in the front. Here's what the corner looks like on the back. Again, it's protrudes so that you can build out on the back if you want to. We also have a corner like this. Uh, and here's what the back side of the corner on that piece looks like right there. And then we have the front here and this corner piece right here. And then we have the back side of the piece like there. Now I'm going to do a sample layout with this set. Uh, the set I'm selling here has 13 tiles and you might think, well, why 13? I can't build any kind of a square with 13 tiles. Uh, the reason is because the nine plane tiles were a part of the original set in the article. That's what I intended people to build. But I wanted to give some examples of other things you could do. So I, I put a puddle here. I actually made a secret passage over here. And I did some things like uh, this particular one right here. I, I uh, put a hole in so it looks like that there's a pit that you can kind of shove an enemy down. And I also did one that was a uh, uh, kind of a grave. And I... I show examples on the website of exactly how that was made. a sample layout that I made just by putting the pieces together. This took about, you know, 10 minutes putting up. Let me kind of zoom into a few areas on it. There you can see what the uh, Mage Knight figures look like there. Kind of pan around a little bit. You can see that there's actually quite a few wall sections around the outside that uh, I had not used. Uh, so, you know, I almost could have made a whole lot more floor tiles uh, to go with the walls. I think what happened is I originally had a basic set of walls for this and then I made a more decorative set of walls for it, but I never ended up, uh, never ended up making, um, you know, enough, uh, floor tiles really to go for both. Well, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please bid on it if you want this item. Uh, these kind of things help, uh, keep our business going.